What's going on guys, it's Crater here, back for another review, and this is my review of the SH Figures Red Buster from Tokume Sentai, Go Busters. Himaru is the Red Buster Ranger and is the leader of the Go Busters. All the Go Busters have special skills unique to them, and with Red Buster, his Buster power is super speed. He moves at unbelievable speed, making it look like he teleports. However, that does come with a weakness. Whenever he sees or hears a chicken, he will be immobile and will not be able to do anything for a period of time. Each ranger has a buddy roid, and his is Cheetah Neck. His arsenal consists of his Morphing Brace, Ichigan Buster, Shogun Blade, and the Transpod. His vehicles are the Cheetah Neck Motorbike Mode, Buster Vehicle CB01, and the Buster Vehicle LT06. His personal mecha are the Go Busters Ace and LT06. Now right, before we look at the figure, as always, let's look at the box one more time. As you can see right here, this is the figure for the, um, well, box, as I should say, for the SE figure. Red Buster, beautiful design. The um, motif that they're trying to go for, for at least for the boxes, for the Go Busters, is they're on the Red Busters visor, and this was like the um, trend for all their boxes, red, blue, yellow, Gertosaki, and Usada Lettuce, sadly, Beat and Sag was never released. However, let's look at the box. Go Buster logo right there. So we Sentai, Go Busters, Red Busters, SH Figure Art with the usual phrase. SH Figure Art is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai SH Figure Art under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. As you see right here, there's a shot of Red Buster, Bandai, Tamashii Nations, all the extra stuff. This was a regular retail release, so this was a pretty decent price, like $34 when it first got released. I actually got it for dirt cheap now on Amazon, but besides point, text that I cannot read. On the side, Tokyo Sentai Go Busters Red Buster, SH Figure Arts again on the top, SH Figure Arts Tokyo Sentai Go Busters Red Buster on the side, Tokyo Sentai Go Busters Red Busters, SH Figure with a nice shot of him posing with the Shogun Blade, and all the stuff on the back. Simple style and heroic action, action, it's morphing time, Busters ready to go, Go shows the Red Buster in various poses with the um, Ichigan Buster special mode. Uh, the Ichigan Buster self, the Shogun Blade, the weapons that shows like here, all the ones I just named. Get this at Tamashi. So there is the box of the SH Figure Arts Red Buster. So let's just get into the figure itself. And now we are looking at the Red Buster figure itself. Beautifully detailed. I mean, the camera does not do it justice, guys. Beautifully detailed figure and looking death onto it right now. Look, starting from the head to the bottom, if I can zoom in. Sorry about that guys, come on. Perfect, all right. So, starting from the head, I should probably zoom out a little. There you go, make stuff work. Nice 360 ball joint right here for the head itself. It can pop off, which I would not do. Very beautiful design from the Red Buster helmet. Again, the Go Busters had my favorite design of all the figures. Again, especially the visor and the spy motif going on, really love it. Uh, starting with the body itself, you can join it very nice joints right here, to be honest with you. This one right here. The mold on this one, I believe, was a different mold from the Go Kaijus and She Changes that got released. They had used this one because of the leather suits and because the detail of Go Busters was vastly different from the spandex from the Go Kaijus and She Changes that they released beforehand. But still like it as well. Nice joint. It looked like these were like the basis. If you actually look at it, this is the basis to the Operation Overdrive figure arts or Bokanger figure arts because the red, blue, and black um, Bokangers use a similar um, mold to this. So there's that. So there's the Go Busters right there. Red Buster. Very nice. Out of shot. Come on. Frame. Sorry, guys. I'm failing here. Oh, again, I'm going to edit this. There you go. As I was saying, so nice joints right here. 360 almost movement right here to the arm. I wouldn't recommend it, though. Joints. You can do this much with the joints right here. Move it up. I'm afraid to move these because I know this is kind of an old figure, so I will barely move, but you'll get the point. Same thing goes for this arm as well. Very articulate. They can move 360, but try to match with the arm right here, but you can move that as well. Very nice detail wall with the leather. I love how it has the zipper right here. And again, what I love about the most is how they do detail in the suit itself. You see how it's like that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? A dent, like a dent in the suit. See like it got moved or something like it. I know it's random. The morpher right here, I know you can barely see it. 
There you go. You see the morpher right there. Probably the best shot. Try to zoom in a little bit. There you go. Better shot of the morphing grace itself. You know, it's little. They see. I love. That's why I love figures. They really know how to do the detail for everything. Same thing right here with the transpod on the suit itself. Very, very nice. The back of the suit on the top, at least. Shows his um, belt on the back, very nice detail on all of it. Again, everything was purely matched. Obviously, the issue they couldn't get rid of is just with the joints right here. This had to be black, so it kind of messed up the suit a little. But hey, this is good enough in my opinion for the price of it and for what the figure can usually do. I like this suit for what it is, so I can understand like some stuff had to be sacrificed. How this black stuff right here for the suit, but it's understandable. Moving on to the bottom of the legs right here joints usual i think this one followed the mold of the oh, what's the word i'm looking for she can jersey i did have she can red i can't say the same for um the go kai because i never had the go kai jersey um figures so nice joints right here move a joint right here you can move up this far so you can do like a nice drop kick but we're not gonna do that right here because i am using him for example Toe joint right here. I wish it would stop. That one. For God's sakes. Probably should zoom out a little. That one. For God's sakes, people. That dude like this. <sighs> there you go. Perfect. Better enough. All right, as I was trying to say for a toe joint, that's the most it will go to, so I wouldn't recommend like, doing anything other than that. Hold on. There you go. All right, there's a toy joint, so you get the idea with the toes. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess anymore with this. Otherwise though, beautiful figure. As I said, for back in 2012, this is very nicely detailed and sculpted. Uh, the paint and for again for 2012 for it being almost a four-year-old figure there the paint job still nice one is I mean I know it's brand new but I would say for it to be sitting in the back and probably wherever I got it from for four years and it has a very still nice paint job one I like it I like the red even though there's like a light red on it because my lights on it it has it does have the correct red on it if you see my photos on Instagram which I'll be posting up shortly after review you understand what I'm talking about so yeah there's red bus so he looks sad not sad anymore. And there's Red Buster. Right now we're going to look at the accessories that it came with, starting with the interchangeable hands. Now we're going to have a quick look at the hands itself, starting with the open palm hand. Steve, let him do his signature poses right here. The open palm hand. First off, you wonder why I'm wearing gloves because, again, I don't want to mess up the paint job on the figures, my hands are sweaty and this is the summer and my room gets very, very hot so I don't want to mess up the hands. I mean, I don't want to mess up the paint job on anything with these figures I know how valuable these figures actually are. So here's all the open palm hands for Red Buster. Uh, these are let him do signature poses, Red Buster like his, you know, jazz hands, stuff like that. Anything that has an open palm hand, you get the idea. Here is the closed, open, like mid fist hands. I have like the worst describer ever. This one, I believe, is actually for the Ichigan Buster by the way it's looking. I will figure it out myself. This is for the Ichigan Buster. And these are for the Shogun Blade. Actually, no, this is for the Ichigan Buster, and the other one's for the Shogun Blade. So, yeah, messed up that one big time. I can tell this is clearly for. The Ichigan bus and the other one is for the Shogun Blade. And we will be showing, uh, those are the hands of the Go Busters, right there. And right now you'll be seeing a few shots of these hands in action with the Red Buster figure. Now it's time for us to look at the weapon accessories that comes with the Red Buster figure. Right, first things first, we're going to look at the sword. Of the, I mean, the main, size, the main size sword arm, I can barely say that for some odd reason, which is the Shogun Blade. All three Go Busters use this weapon. Basically, starting with Go Kaijers, if you didn't notice from Go Kaijers, all the Rangers pretty much had the same sidearm. It wasn't until Kiryu Jir 
that they had a um, specific weapon again, starting with Kyrieger. But with Go Busters and Go Kaiser, they just each had just simply two sidearms and then they went from there. So starting with the Shogun Blade right here, very nice detail. This is the main sidearm sword. Sword sidearm for um, the Go Busters, red, blue, and yellow, but this also comes with red buster as well as blue buster and yellow buster. Look at very beautiful detail. I love the um, sword design. This is probably one of my favorite sword designs besides the Quasar Saber. The Quasar Saber will be my favorite sword design of any Power Rangers Super Sentai show. I don't know, something about that Saber it just gets to me. I wish they'd make a legacy one. But focusing on the Shogun Blade itself, uh, you can just stay in focus. I like it because it's like a, almost like a, it's a sword, but it's also like a dagger-ish sword so it's like it's quick and to the point especially going with the go busters um theme where it's like they're spies and they're trying to be quick and especially this works well with red busters since he is very fast you need something that he gets a slice you know just slice quick so i do like that i also just like the design as well just the blue the the, the color screen just works for it basically i feel like the color screen actually works for it but that's just me Very nice, just looking at that. Moving on to the Go Busters main um, blaster sidearm, which is none other than the Ichigan Buster. This is their main weapon sidearm, which is actually, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. So I'll, I'll just mention this real quick. This is actually their, um, shit, what is this? Oh, this is their, actually their goggles. This also transformed into their, even though they come with it, this is actually their goggles that they use that they can actually um, look through just to spy on stuff as well. So these goggles actually turn to the sword, which I found very cool. I wish it would actually came out with a weapon piece like that. Same thing with the Ichigan Buster. The Ichigan Buster is transformation from their camera that they use. The camera turns into a gun, which I, I thought it was pretty cool. That is very cool in my opinion. The camera turns into a gun. However, um, so there's that, uh, looking at it, very nice details, their main blaster, again, all three Go Busters use, but basically how it is is that Yellow Busters uses the blaster, um, Blue Buster uses the sword, and Red Buster uses the, co the combine of both of them, that's usually like, if they were going about it like this, like how Go, Bu like remember how Go Kaiser, the Red Buster used both the sword and the gun, the Blue and Yellow Ranger used the, they dual wield the swords, and the green and pink ranger dual wield their blasters. Same, it was kind of like the same scheme as that. Just the red ranger used the special one. The yellow um, buster used the blaster, which was this, and the blue buster used the sword. I'm just putting it out there. But again, very nice deeds for a small. Again, I, that one thing I love about Tamashii Nations and Bluefin in general, the way that the detail that they put in this is just amazing, in my opinion. Very, very awesome. Very awesome indeed. Very nice detail in it at all. That's the Ichigan Buster. So when you fuse the Ichigan Buster and the Shogun Blade, you get the Ichigan Buster Special Mode. They're um, both red, blue, and yellow Busters main um, combined weapon, which is very cool in my opinion. All three members can use this, but mainly the red Buster Ranger uses this as a special weapon. As I was mentioning before, how Yellow Buster uses the blaster, the Blue Ranger uses the um, Shogun Blade, Red Buster uses a combine of all, well, both of them. This is combine is just one solid piece. You can't break this apart. I wouldn't break this apart anyway. But um, yeah, you guys you see the signs of the original like camera. How you see like the camera right here for um, the Ichigan Buster, and you see almost like the goggles they would put it together as for the um, Shogun Blade, but yeah, very nice weapon. I love it, I think it's actually pretty cool. Their ultimate blast, they just combine together just for one final shot. This is before they got their, um, cause later in the season they didn't get their like their team weapon. So they all, you, all three of them just use this or just one range uses to finish off the enemy. I thought it was just pretty cool. Again, they were trying different, the Skull Bust was just a different series all together for Super Sentai. They were just trying new things, see what sticks. I know overall it didn't get, well, I thought it, I, I thought Go Busters, that's my favorite against Super Sentai season anyways, but I thought it was good. Some fans didn't like it. I thought it was cool though, but yeah. The Ichigan Buster, very, well, the Ichigan Buster special mode, I should say. Very, very awesome. I was trying to think of the English name for it, but sadly we never got it because Go Busters never got it. over here. But yeah, 
I'm just looking at it, very nice detail indeed. And now we're gonna look at some photos with all three weapons with the Red Buster figure art. So here we go. Overall, I love this figure. This is probably going to be my favorite Super Sentai figure art that's got released um, in the Super Sentai figure art line because out of this video, there has not been any Super Sentai figure released um, after, I believe, Sun Vulcan. So, uh, after Blue and Yellow Ranger from Sun Vulcan, I think that was it for Super Sentai as of right now. There's been no, sadly, there's been no other Super Sentai figure released. So. I'm going to try to collect all of them that have been released so far, but again, I'll first start with Red Buster, but Red Buster right now is my favorite Red Ranger Super Sentai figure, hands down. I love it. I love design, probably because I'm biased because um, this is Go Buster, is my favorite Super Sentai season. Again, the only issues I have is kind of, even though again, this is back to 2012, they couldn't really do anything with the paint on the side of the arms. I wish they would have also came with the um, goggles and camera accessory part, which would have been cool. Just for him to do the spying stuff and whatever. And I wish that they had a, um, like a helmet miss Himaru because the main thing with Gobots, they always took off their helmets, so it would be nice if they had like a face of them. I know it was asking for much for Super Sentai figures because they're not as popular as Kamen Rider ones. Kamen Rider, they do whatever the hell they want with it. But, um, yeah, I know it wasn't as popular, so yeah. There's that. But otherwise, I love the figure. I would definitely recommend if you could find it. You can find it probably dirt cheap on Amazon, probably for less than $30. I could probably even $25, if anything. But otherwise, guys, this was my review of the SH figure. It's Red Bust. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked today's video, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. My channel. Next uh, review will be the SH figure arts Cheetah Nick from somebody because I go Buster, the Red, Rust, the Red Buster Buddy Roy. Otherwise, guys, this is Crater signing off. Catch you guys later. See ya.